What's going on guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're talking about Ashton Kusher as he steps down as the board chair of the anti-child abuse organization. Let's go and get into it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. So let's do a little bit of reading. I know, I know, I know, I know some of y'all don't like the reading, but it is what it is, baby. We got to do a little bit every now and then. Just pick up a book. Ashton Kusher has resigned as chairman of the Board of Thorn, the anti-child sex abuse organization he co-founded in 2009 with his then-wife, Demi Moore. His wife, Mila Kunis, who served as an observer on the organization's board, is stepping down, is also stepping down. The move comes in the wake of the outrage of the letters of support of Danny Masterson, who has been convicted of raping two women's. Okay, you just complain in the background, I'm over there. Uh, victims of sexual abuse have been historically silenced in the character statement I submitted is yet another painful instance of questioning victims who are brave enough to share their experience, Coach Kusher wrote in a September 14th letter to Thorne's board, which was shared exclusively with time. After my wife and I had spent several days of listening, per listening personal reflection Learning in conversations with the survivors and the employees and leadership at Thorn, I have determined the responsible thing for me to do is resign as chairman of the board. Effective immediately, Kutcher wrote, I cannot allow my error in judgment to distract from our efforts in the children we serve. So as you know, the actor from the 70s show is now going to prison for 30 years or 30 plus years. 30 years to life, as it says here. I said this about Ashton Kusher the other day. Um, before this story actually came out, I had mentioned that I mentioned two people that I would be very upset if I ever found out that they were um, had turned into like OnlyFans or something. I said, if Ashton Kusher ever decided that he was going to decide to support pornography or anything like that, I'd be very upset because he's been so anti and all things he's done for these victims. Another person was Brittany Venti. Anyway, Brittany Venti, who has been on this tirade for a few years now, I said I'd be upset if she did the same thing. And then I also mentioned Sean. But those were my main two people right there. I said, man, that'd be crazy if that happened. Because I've looked at all three of these people pretty deeply. I've listened to Ashley Kusher. I've been following him for a while when it comes to all this. So I'd have been deeply upset. And so, uh, I feel like my camera's crooked. Let me fix that. Boop. If it's not crooked, I'm sorry. My camera fell earlier. And it turned off, so it's kind of mixed up. Um... I do think it was pretty sad to see him do this um, because as much as I want to say, well, it's alleged, the man's going to prison. So I have to assume that it's true. I don't know why it would make sense for me now to, if I am a person who always talked about the victims of human trafficking and all the stuff that I'm anti-porn and all the stuff I talk about, it'd be foolish of me to be like, well, in this one case though, I don't think the dude did it. I think these women are lying. Is that possible? It always is possible. But from what we see, though, the evidence points to he did this. He did this. And he's a sick man. I don't care how long ago it happened. The victims do matter. Their tears matter. Their lives being ruined matters from a man who decided to take advantage of these women. So for Ashton Kutcher and um, his wife to come out, Mila Kunis, right? For her to come out and say all this stuff and make a whole letter saying that they don't think he could do this and all this. Yeah, it looks very hypocritical because the one time or at least it looks like the one time you guys had the real chance to really step up for the victims. The second it came to a friend, somebody y'all knew. Y'all turned y'all's back. You know, it's like it seems like any if this had been any other person on the planet, but a friend of y'all's, y'all would have been like, oh, man, this person got to go. Let's stand up for the people. But the second it was y'all's friend, y'all turned y'all's back on the victims. So for y'all to resign, I completely agree. Um, at this point, you cannot help the organization. Your face is being plastered on there. It's just going to hurt the organization. Um, do I feel like they really are sorry for what they did? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know if they even believe what they said at this point. I don't know why, why they would write a letter only for this man to be convicted. I would have just said nothing. There's no point. I would have just said, let me just wait for it to come out, man, if he's, if he's caught. Because what was the upside? That he didn't do it and you felt good about that? You know how people were still going to feel like, so these victims lied? You know how? It would have just looked bad no matter how he did it. So I think it was foolish for them to write the letters. Now, obviously, there's some stuff that goes on in Hollywood. I'm just going to admit this. In Hollywood, man, um, 
and just this celebrity life is so different from this normal life, civilian life that I live. I don't really know what's going on behind the scenes and what would even make them write this letter or if it was all planned. I know there's conspiracy theories out there that said this was all planned. Um, they meant to do this. They wanted to get fired. They wanted to resign or the people, some people wanted them gone. You know, I get that. Not gone, like take their lives. I mean, gone, not part of the organization anymore. Some people wanted them out of the organization. So I don't know, man, there's obviously stuff that goes behind the scenes, but I'm just going to talk from somebody who's just a normal civilian. What they did was wrong. Um, they shouldn't have defended this man. He got convicted. They said he did it. Um, so, and this is the guy. I know that some people are against this man too, because he was part of the Scientology church, right? Scientology and the Scientology has been known to have some bad people in there. Um, so it is what it is. I will say that I am sad though. Um, I don't know Ashley Kusher personally, and I know things are starting to come out about him um, and his wife. But I like to truly believe that there's people in this world who truly don't want this kind of stuff to happen. They don't want any of the victims going through this stuff. Ashley Kusher telling the story of how many little girls and little boys he's found um, just have brutal stuff done to them. I want people to be out there who have a goodness of heart. And it's sad to see something like this happen because now I have to question Ashley and it feels like it sometimes it feels so hopeless. I'm not going to lie to you. Like it feels hopeless that there's like never anybody out there willing to do this. And I, I, I want to get into this, not right now, <clears throat> but in the future, I want to be part of the anti-trafficking. I want to be part of that organization later on in my life. And it just feels like, and I'm not going to lie to you. It feels like sometimes even for myself, I feel like I'll get there. I'll have all the things, but let me make a water cheese. I feel like I'll get there and I'll have all this stuff and I'll fall. It's a scary thought to think that I'll have all this going for me. I'm really helping out victims and something comes out and I fall. I just falter somewhere. And that's why it's so important to have your integrity because we saw this man who was doing so well, or at least I thought, and he falls. It just feels like nobody who is who they are. No matter how good of a person you think somebody is, there's always some dark past. It's always something. It makes me feel so hopeless. It's like, dang. It, I mean, is there always going to be something that people do that's bad? Am I going to get to the top and be like, man, Trey was doing so well, but we actually found out that he has all these skeletons. It's just like, but there are good people out there, man. There are people who are really living this life. But it's like, and I also sometimes feel like people are going to go out of their way to find something you did in your past to ruin you. People don't want somebody to be good. They don't want somebody to be lifted up there. They want somebody to always fail. And it's just sad to see this happen to Ashton. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Should they have defended this man? Are you guys going to tell me more stories about he's always been a horrible person? He used to slap cats and kick dogs. I'm sad, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm gone.